good evening again. Sneak and expect tonight, and today we've got Easy Peasy 1.5. Based on Ubuntu, a netbook remix. It's supposed to be for netbooks, you know, the usual ones, uh, Acer Aspires, etc. Blah de blah de blah. And in theory, it should be quite good. As you can see, I'm going through the screens. This is what you get on your little netbook. Looks okay. But this has been one of the most difficult videos I've had to do because I've had to just edit it all the time. So either it's not very good or it's just not made to run on a desktop because I've actually got it on a desktop here. So we'll go with a second to get a bit, a bit of a chance. So we're going to fire up the browser and it starts reasonably quick. And bearing in mind, most of your work is going to be done on the browser in theory on a netbook. That's a good thing to start with. So I'm going to go to the BBC as I normally do. For the main reason, as you all know, if you watch my videos, that it's really, really intense, basically. There's lots and lots of information on the screen. And it comes up reasonably well, that's OK. But this is the thing I don't like about netbooks. You don't get a full screen most of the time, which is a bit of a pain at the posterior. So I'm going to go to the iPlayer, just to see if Flash and all the other stuff is pre-installed for what you need to do it with. And we really do need the Flash. If you're going to use a netbook, you're going to need to get on the net straight away, aren't you? So we can't have any problemos. Now, as far as I know, all the wireless cards work with this. But it didn't work with my PC. That's one of the old Celeron ones. And it doesn't run very good on the old Celeron EPCs either. It's like it's like putting Vista on a 15-year-old machine. It just doesn't want to know. But on this desktop here, which we say is a 2 gig, runs reasonably fine. So that's not too bad. It's just some of the other stuff is just niggly, piggly, biggly bush. Remember, it's based on Ubuntu 9.04 or 9.04, so that may be one of the problems. I think if it was based on 9.10, we'd have a lot sweeter ride. comes with Skype and all the usual stuff you get in Ubuntu. There's a few extras and a few missing. We'll go to Office. As you see, there's a little lag there all the time. You get all your Office apps. That's good. But do you actually need the complete Open Office suite? In my opinion, no, you do not. You don't need it at all, because you're not going to be using all that. If you did want to use all that, you'd have a proper laptop with a decent processor, etc, etc. But anyway, we'll open it up, make sure it works. Seems to be, see how slow it is. And it don't fill the screen either. But as I said before, we'll say that it's because it's not made for a desktop. But it is usable, so we'll give it that. So anyway, that's okay. Where else should we go to have a look? Sounds and videos. You get Banshee. I don't know why I put Banshee on here. Well, it's a smaller footprint, I do get it. And you get M Plaffy Movie Player and Sound Recorder 2. You see, this is the thing I have with netbooks. Some of the stuff we're putting on with these distros, you're not going to actually need. All they're going to be used for is browsing and stuff like that. Facebook, the average user is only going to do that. So putting all this other stuff on, I think is pretty pointless, really. I mean, if they want to put it on, they can add it at a later date. If we had like a add programs repository like there is in 9.10, that would be an ideal situation, I think. Just do an ad programs thing down the bottom there. Super. And they just have what they want when they wanted it. As you see, I'm going through all the screens here. And it's basically usual Ubuntu stuff. But just made to fit on a, on a little screen. I think it would go better on a 10-inch screen, actually. But on a little 7s, it just doesn't want to play ball. You might as well go for one of the smaller ones. And we can use that, really. It doesn't take up so much stuff either, does it? Now, I'm not dissing the distro down. I would never do that. Not a lot, anyway. But, you know, I think it's too much for a netbook. Also, when installing, because I installed this to the hard drive, it wants to make a swap file. So if your netbook's got a solid-state drive, it won't like having a swap file, because it's having to read and write to it all the time. So that's another bad one. I'll click on Network here. Look, it just got laggy for me. It just wasn't doing what I wanted it to. I mean, I've edited the videos a bit, but uh, only a bit. Otherwise, it'd be... Like, three minutes basically so you know what I mean you know what I mean anyway up, it seems like I don't like this very much don't I? but what I'm going to do I'm going to try and get hold of one of the newer netbooks and install it on that to see how it runs but on, in this sort of environment it just does not want to know really 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 doesn't want to know but it looks nice though doesn't it it does look nice that's all I'm trying to think some positive things to say about it oh this is the other nigger I had oh, here we go because I showed you cheese in a bit earlier look Picasa. I thought, well, at least we'll have sank for our pictures. Well, basically, Picasa got stuck, and that's it. Didn't want to do any anything else, and so I just had to kill the process. So, that's easy peasy. Hopefully, when it's based on 9.10, it'll be a lot better. 
sneaky at Linux going out very sad. See you later. Bye bye.